Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and in this video of Power BI interview questions and answer series, we are going to talk about what is the difference between merge and append queries in Power BI. We are going to discuss what is merge query, what is append query and what is the difference between them and when to use which. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so now I'm on a fresh Power BI report and let me just go ahead and go to the transform data pane. And over here, if we go on home ribbon, then if we go on this side, you will see there are two options. One says merge queries and another says append queries. And if we further click either of them, then we will get to another option, merge queries and merge queries as a new. All right, so first of all, let's know that what is merge query. So when we are talking about merge query, merge query is nothing but it acts like a join. So if you are from a SQL background or if you have worked on joins earlier, then in Power BI, it is the same thing. So for example, if I want to join my exist existing data with some other data that I want to import, then in that situation, I will use merge query. So for example, uh, let me just go ahead and grab additional data and let me let me select the existing file that I have copied all right okay and uh, so just for the demo purpose what I have done I have created some sample data for sales 2022 and if I click on OK and if I let it some load now if I go ahead and click on merge queries then first of all the first table on which i was earlier the sales 2022 it has already selected that and now i can select the available option so for example now i want to join with the, another table i will select that now it will ask you which kind of join you would like to apply here okay so again if you have worked on joins earlier then you must be familiar about left outer join route outer join full inner joins but in power bi there are two different kind of joins available so first one is left nt so now what does this join do is when we are joining two different tables and if we are using left nt uh, kind of join then what it will do it will bring only rows from left table which are not matching from the right table so uh, for example uh, there are two rows like four rows in the left table out of which two rows are matching with table from the right so in those situation those two matching rows will be excluded and only two non matching rows from the left table would be you know uh, going will will go forward on the next step and uh, th those rows will be shown as a result similarly when we talk about a right anti join then it will bring those tables those rows from the right table which are non matching rows from the left table all right so these are the two different joins available in Power BI. And so that's why when we are doing merge, then we are doing nothing but we are applying joins similar to SQL. All right, let me cancel that as of now. And one more thing. So once we click on merge query directly, then what it will do, it will perform the join as per the spe specification that we will be giving it here. And it will, you know, create or edit the existing table based on the join result however if we will go ahead and select merge queries as a new then what it will do it will take you know data from both tables and it will create another a third table and then it will populate the result of those joins into that third table all right now moving towards the append query again in append query there are two options append queries and append queries as a new so once we will click on append query it will do it will kind of append the new data within existing table and if we will click on append as a new then it will go ahead and create a third table and then it will append the both rows that we are going to specify 
now what is append query append query is nothing but performing a union so for uh, for example we have two different data sets or multiple different data sets and we want to append the data so one condition is there to append the data that both of the tables should have same number of columns in the same sequence so what it matters matters is the data type so for example in table 1 uh, you have uh, in table 1 in column 1 you have a data type as integer and in table 2 in column 1 you have a data type that is text that in that situation append query will not work because it will expect the same kind of data type and same number of column when we are performing an you know append so for example as of now here let me just click on append as a new and i uh, it has already selected sales 2022 and now i want to append these results in sample sales data all right then i will select this one now because i have you know given an option to create append as a new then it has created a new table which has you know appended the results of 2022 as well over here so you can see here in modified date we are able to see this 2022 data and we can go ahead and rename it as per our convenience right so maybe we can say it's sales data all right so uh, this is the difference between append query and merge query so again a merge is nothing but the joins and append is nothing but the union all so i hope it has given you a clear understanding what is merge query and what is append query and what is the difference between them if you like the content please go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on any latest video which i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day